7 p.m. on January 17, 2019, here in the Aldermanic Chamber. I will, um, the city clerk will offer the prayer, and the pledge will be led by Alderwoman Melisa Golia. Almighty God, we have the high honor and the serious duty to manage the affairs of our beloved city. Fill us, O oh God, with a spirit of unity and understanding which enables us to face our multiple problems with a serene mind, with justice and charity for all, so that any and all decisions made by us will always be for the betterment and greater happiness of all our fellow citizens. So help us, God. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Would the clerk please call the roll? Alderman O'Brien. Present. Alderman Gidge. Alderman Harriet Gathright. Present. Alderman Dow. Present. Alderman Clee. Here. Alderman Laws. Here. Alderman Lopez. Alderman Karen. Here. Alderwoman Kelly. Here. Alderman Jetty. Alderwoman Melisi Gola. Present. Alderman Tenza. Present. Alderman Schmidt. Here. Alderman uh, Wilshire. Here. <laughs> uh, I did hear from Alderman Jetty and Alderman Gidge that they were unable to attend this evening. I am going to turn this over to the chair of the Budget Review Committee. Okay. So this evening we have a public hearing on R18-100, changing the purpose of up to $50,000 of unexpended bond proceeds from the LED street lighting project to the district-wide middle school renovation and construction project of funding engineering and architectural services. Um, basically, what we're doing here is the, uh, we want to ensure that we have enough money for phase one of the middle school project. So if there's any funds left over from phase one, we will move them into the next phase. Uh, would the uh, city treasurer like to add anything or just want to answer questions if somebody has a question? Yeah, I think it, okay. <laughs> So now I'll take testimony in favor of R18-100. Seeing none, I'll take testimony in opposition. Seeing none, I'll take additional testimony in favor. Seeing none, additional testimony in opposition. Seeing none. Are there any questions that anyone on the board has? No? Okay, then I will... Need a motion to close the public hearing. So moved. Okay, so the motion on the floor is to close the public hearing. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. We're adjourned at 7.05. And in a minute, we will open the budget meeting. Years. Oh, they're here. Well, you know, what the heck? For all of it. You're all set. Yeah, yeah, I know. I just want to. I think I'll go back to the library to the meeting that I was at. I think it was still going on. I don't know. I like your hat tonight. We saw that at like three, and I was like, take it. All set? All set. 
All right, I'd like to call a budget review committee to order. It's January 17th, 2019, and we're in the automatic chamber. It's 7.06 p.m. Would the clerk please call the roll? Alderman at Lodge, Larry Wilshire. Here. Alderman Tom Lopez. Here. Alderman at Lodge, Michael O'Brien is present. Alderman Women at Lodge, Shoshana Kelly. I'm here. Present. Okay. Alderman at Lodge, David Tenza. Present. Alderman Jan Schmidt. Here. And our chair, Richard Dowd. Present. 100% attendance, Mr. Okay. Chair. Okay. Also in attendance, Alderman Melissa Golia. Oh, thank and, you. And Alderman Karen. Your own hype man? Mm hmm. And Jen. Uh, Alderman Schmidt. Okay. All right. First order of business is public comment. Seeing none. Communications? There is none. Unfinished business? There is none. New business resolutions, R18-100. Changing the purpose of up to $50,000 uh, unexpended bond proceeds from LED lighting project to the district-wide middle schools renovation and construction project for funding engineering and architectural services. Mr. Chair, I would like to make a uh, Make a motion for final passage. Okay, the motion is for final passage of R18-100. Is there any questions? Alderman Tenza. Yeah, if I could just ask the, um, every once in a while we, we have one of these resolutions that comes to the board where there's um, unallocated, or there's more money from, from the bond. Um, in this project, is there a reason that it ran uh, less than the city expected? Why there's extra money left over? Uh, from oh, the it. bond we're taking the money from? Yes. You gave Dave a reason for being here. <laughs> Treasurer for debt? <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, Dave for debt, Treasurer tax collector. Um, yeah, this doesn't happen very often in the 20 years I've been here, but this bond, you know, when we... Um, sold this bond, we only had an, an estimate of the cost. When they went out for contract, they got a very good price, uh, considerably lower than what was authorized. So they basically have completed this job and have several hundred thousand dollars left. Now, it's a public works bond, so I'm hoping that they're going to find some purpose for it in public works. But so far, the only one that's used a little bit of it is the, uh, <laughs> the school project. So it's, it's kind of rare, really, that we have that kind of money left over in a bond. It, it doesn't happen that often. All the school projects. Just had to bring that up. <laughs> Any other questions? Could I, could I, if I could just follow up um, sure. with the treasurer? Um, so from what I remember of this project, it was a revenue-neutral project in the sense that the money um, from the bond was going to be saved each year uh, based on the um, savings in energy costs to the city. Wow. I'm not an expert on it, but I believe it was going to be a, was going to take a couple of years before that happened. But yes, after a few years, you'd be saving quite a bit of money um, in the electricity costs versus what the bond costs. Yes. So the um, the savings that savings plan was was with the original bond amount of money. Since that amount wasn't spent, the payback should be sooner. And and so I guess my point. I think it's important to to point out sometimes when these city projects go well or even better than expected, uh, since so many times people um, are, are critical of, of the city and, and what they're doing, that there's another project which just shows it's, it, it makes sense. It was uh, smart to go forward with two years ago and for, for the members of the board who were uh, on the board back then, you know, I think it's important to point out. Yeah, fine. Any other discussion? Alderman Lopez. Yeah, I just want to clarify because the way it was, I think I interpreted, was because a specific contract or dollar amount hadn't been stated initially with the bond, that's why there was an overage? Was that? Um, when the bond was approved by the board, they did not have a firm price on whatever the contract was going to cost. When they went out for contract, it ended up costing less than they had estimate, estimated. So in comparison to last night's request for initially a 2B determined amount, which ultimately ended up just being kind of just an overall sketch, this is a different situation because we're not bonding it yet. 
with regards to the Performing Arts Center, and we're only going to spend up to a certain amount, and then that's a firm hold. There won't be any leftover money sitting in an account such as this? No, because we haven't sold any of that bond yet for okay. Performing Arts Center. I just wanted to clarify, because last night we also had sort of an, a request for an open-ended expenditure, which we ended up nailing down to more of a budget item, but in the event that we... I mean, in the hopeful event that we don't spend all of the money that we gave permission to spend up to, then there wouldn't be any need to move money from another account into some future project because with the Performing Arts Center, that money is only going to be counted once it's spent. Does that sound right? Somewhat. But okay. remember, I believe the way it's going to work, and this is kind of un unique with the tax credits. I've never done those, but... <clears throat> We're going to have to sell that bond all at one time when they're ready with the tax credits. Now, that project may end up costing less than what we sold, so you may have leftover money that could be repurposed, but I really can't tell that that's a couple of years away from now. So, Okay. I was sorry. I wasn't expecting you to tell the future. All in one, Melissa Yeah. Um, uh, treasurer for that, just refresh my mem memory this didn't go out just kind of open though we had an estimate and it's just that the estimate was higher I mean it was not like a bunch of people sitting around the room people who knew what they were doing said we estimate this is what it will cost and the bond went out with that <coughs> estimate but then when the contract was actually let what we got back was less than the estimate. So there was an amount in there when the bond was left. Is that oh, the yes. the lighting project you're talking about? Yes. Yes, what there was, an, there was an estimate done by, right. um, I, I'm not sure if it was an engineering firm, or, but it right. was an estimate done, yes. Right. right. We had a, an expert that came in, showed us the lights and everything, and they estimated what it was going to be cost. When it finally right. went out to bids, it came in much lower. Right, and that's so what that's I was why just trying to clarify. So it, it's, it's not an exact apples to apples to what happened last night. We did right. have an estimate in there. Yes. <laughs> Alderman <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> Alderman <laughs> Kelly. Um, I wanted to just point of clarification. It's sort of a question. But in what, the only time we need a public hearing for something like this is when we're changing the use of the money that was let for a specific bond, correct? Say that again. So last night when we talked about this, what we discussed was that if there's money left over, as long as it's used against the Performing Arts Center bond, we're not changing the use of the money. Therefore, we wouldn't have to have a public hearing. Okay. The Performing Arts is much different than other types of bonds, so we probably don't want to mix apples and oranges on the discussion, but that, that can be brought up going forward. Uh, tonight, we had the public hearing on the reallocation of the 50 thousand dollars and actually we really didn't need it because we were repurposing money all we needed was a vote of the board next tuesday night but okay. we did it anyway okay and so that's the question i had yes alderman lopez i think shoshana I mean, alderman kelly was was <laughs> kind of drilling down to what i was trying to say was that we're not repurposing leftover money with the based on what happened last night because it's all still going towards the performing arts center Whereas this was intended for LEDs and now is going to a different purpose. Mm -hmm. So ultimately when it's sold, I mean, it's still money going out, but the purpose can be changed without having to have a public hearing. And more importantly, as long as we don't spend the money on it, uh, sorry, as long as we don't spend more than, or <laughs> as long as uh, economic development, I guess, doesn't spend more than the amount we talked about last night for the Performing Arts Center, then they can repurpose it within the Performing Arts Center bond budget and not have to add anything to the total cost. That was kind of what I was getting at, was last night we had two proposals in Finance Committee where they were sort of, first they were proposed as completely open-ended, which the committee did not approve, and then it was amended to estimates. And those estimates aren't going to drive the total bond of Performing Arts Center up because they're being spent on a certain item and then moved, if they're not spent, then they're not spent. And if they there's additional room within what was approved, then the Performing Arts Center will still stay on budget. I just wanted to draw a contrast between that and this, where money was being allocated for a specific purpose, we underspent, 
it's still sitting in account for that specific purpose and now it has to be actually changed. Yes, typically when you need a public hearing anytime that you're going to bond money, uh, when you repurpose it, you don't really need a public hearing. You have to have a vote of the Board of Aldermen. Um, I'm not sure how the bonding's gonna work for the Performing Arts Center, it's kind of unique. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, but the other thing you mentioned, something about them overspending beyond the bond, and no, nobody in the city has authority to overspend. They could not overspend a bond, they'd have to come back and have the Board of Aldermen add more money to the bond, and that would take a public hearing, correct? Yes. 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 And that's, I was trying to clarify that oranges are oranges and apples are apples. So yeah. what we did last night was basically say that within the bond that we're planning on taking out, we identified how much can be spent total on a certain part. And if less than that is spent on it, it's still part of the total bond. So we're not gonna spend more under any circumstances than the bond that we already planned on bonding. Yes, uh, based on an earlier discussion we had, uh, I would be very concerned if we signed a contract that didn't have dollars allocated against it. I don't even think you can. And uh, that's a corporation council thing. Well, I, um, you know, you, if you don't have money to cover the contract, you, can't, you shouldn't really be signing a contract. Anyway, any other discussion on this subject? Seeing none, all those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Alderman O'Brien. Before us this evening is R18102, approving the cost items of a collective bargaining agreement between the National Board of Police Commissioners and the UFPO Local 645 Professional Employees of the National Police Department from July 1, 2018 through June 30th, 2022 and authorizing related transfers. Mr. Chairman, I would like to make a motion to table uh, R18-102. Okay, the motion on the floor is to table R18-102. Um, the police department wants to <coughs> call this to do further deliberations on it, and uh, I have uh, the written authorization from the um, police commissioners and the union to waive the 30 day um, for, for approving this contract. So they are going to take it back, do some further negotiation. One of the issues, as many of you know, is the, the buyback on vacation, and uh, that will change. Yep. So, not vacation, it's sick leave. Sick leave, I'm sorry. I don't want to keep calling it vacation, sick leave. So, um, it's the worst vacation. <laughs> so that will be coming back at a later date. So we don't, uh, the motion on the floor right now is the table. Any discussion? Alderman Lopez. I just want to differentiate between the position that I had for unaffiliated employees who are in a union and don't have people to speak for them and had their benefits retroactively changed and this situation and express appreciation that the unions are willing to look at this as a different situation than that because I was very supportive of the unaffiliated employees um, and I think that this is a different situation entirely. Okay, any other discussion? Seeing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, motion carries. New business ordinances? There is none. General discussion? All in Melissa Goyan? Um, have a question in terms of speaking about the buyback of sick time. Do we know um, when the letters went out and have we heard anything? I have no clue. Okay, thank you. Aldum, Alderman Karen. Thank you. Um, my understanding is an email went out to the 11 employees, but I haven't heard as to how many have made What the their, choices no. are. Okay, thank you. Thank yeah. you. You only had a few days or something to make it. 20. 20. 20. Okay. Uh, any other general discussion? Seeing none. Public comment. There's no one here. Remarks by Alderman. Okay. We don't need a non-public. Do I hear a motion? 
Motion to adjourn. Uh, Alderman Lopez makes a motion to adjourn. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? We're adjourned at 721.